Hey guys, Jason here, Samco Workshop. Look at this bad boy right here. Uh, it's a Sunday. I love Sundays at a dealership because there's nobody around and I can wander around and look at stuff. And uh, we're up here right now just looking at things. And we have right here a 2024 Willys. And it's actually on 35s from the factory. This is pretty impressive rig right here look at this so let's just take a quick look at it here short little video but uh so we got uh 315s on this bfks and um or bfgs uh but like i said great looking setup look at that now what's nice is here when you're getting in front of the factory rather than people that just go throwing 35s on something uh this willie's package i believe they give you they re-gear it for you from the factory uh here is the details and the specs you can see 56 grand uh yeah 456 gear ratio okay 456 actual gear ratio uh 315 70s um 17s are what's on there tire wise but you can see all the specs on this but uh like i said what a sweet rig right here now this is cloth interior i can see love the new dash layout on this thing and that's that uh the way they integrated that it's full size screen in there is just gorgeous i've done full i did a whole walk around on another one of these but what a what a wicked looking uh rig right there too and now i believe if i'm not mistaken i know it does in the gladiator but i'm pretty sure the willies and the wrangler now too should come with a rear locker um is there a button in there let me see here actually if i can see yeah we got a rear locker button i'll show it to you but yeah so you're getting a rear locker in this too and with jeep's amazing capability already that rear locker is going to do a lot of the stuff you want um like i said this is one sexy package right there there is no doubt about it i'll show you comparison here in a second but um like i said this thing is beautiful and you can see right down there is our rear locker button uh you may not be able to but it's there it's right uh, it's getting in the way i can't see through there steering wheels in the way anyway trust me it's there there's a rear locker in it um, but what a nice, nice looking rig right here. The only thing I can't stand about them, the only thing that bums me out now is that they put the stupid antenna in the windshield, which I don't know what that's going to cost to replace or have to deal with and recalibrate and all that or set up. But that sucks that this is now your antenna for your radio. I, I missed when it was here. It was fine. It didn't have any problems. They put it in there now, and that could be something to be concerned with when you got to replace a windshield. But love that. Love that they even, because they did put the 35s on, and they stick out a little bit further with this offset in the wheel. Uh, they give you a little extra kicker here on the fenders. Like I said, what a tough looking rig. What a beautiful, tough looking rig on this thing. I'm assuming this is lifted as well too. Does it say anything on here about that? Let's look. Uh, Off-road plus mode, uh, wait, optional equipment. Customer preferred, preferred package. Conventional differential front lax or axle true, true lock rear axle. So we got that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, seven pin, uh, eight speed. I'm not seeing nothing on a lift, but I'm assuming it's probably, it's got to be a lift on there. So there's a lift there. Probably Rubicon type setup, but I don't know for sure um, if it's more than a Rubicon. Uh, but like I said, looks amazing. That looks absolutely amazing. That thing is just a beast. Then I love the, the uh, wheels on it. Like I said, well done, Jeep. Well done. Very well done. Is this metal under here too? No, see, that's still plastic. That may not matter to a lot of people, but I love my metal one on my Rubicon. Uh, love that. But uh, like I said, beautiful, beautiful. And I love the new grill look. I like that. It's it's sleek. It's simple. I, I like the effect of it. Comparison, here's the 2024 Gladiator. So this is a Gladiator. Look at the difference here between those two rigs right there with this one set up the way they got it. And that's set up from the factory, not you doing the stuff to it yourself later on where it's kind of hodgepodge and not done right. You get the gear ratios, you get the tires, you get everything. Look at the difference here. That's a beautiful thing. They nailed it on this Willys. No doubt about it, but that Willys was what made me stop and want to do the video. They just straight up nailed it on that. I mean, Jeep did well. That is such a great looking rig from the factory. And um, like I said, the prices, and, and with Jeep, you can always get those prices down a little lower. That's a, that's a, quite, that's a heck of a lot of rig right there for the money. You know, we got 35s on my Gladiator, which is right here. But right there from the factory, we put these on. These were with 33s. Um, but Rubicon model, I get the better gearing, but I'm still not at 456 like that was. That's pretty impressive rig right there, no doubt about it. On, the ground, on ground level, here's another one here. And I don't know what this one is. What is this here, too? Look at this setup on this. What do we got here? 
I am curious. This looks like the same exact package. This is this is another Willys that package. This one's up a little bit more. It's a 59 cloth interior in this, but this is a 59. I wonder why. I don't know what they got on there as extra options, but they do got that $7,500, um, you know, that package on here. But we got those same wheels and tires. But there it is in a in a gray one like that too so that's pretty impressive i mean there's no doubt about it what's the price difference i wonder between this willies decked out this way and a rubicon so let's take a look and see so we got the willies right here 59 for this one i think it's 50 56 for the white one here's a rubicon right here 2024 also and uh what this is the one i think i did a review on what's the price on this 61 Okay, so I mean, don't get me wrong, the Rubicon is amazing because of the front lockers. Straight up love the Rubicon, but man, this is getting impressive here. When you look at these, look at the two of them. Look at the height difference, look at the size difference. This one's sitting on 33s, okay, Rubicon on 33s, the Willys on 35s. This one now has the rear locker. It's a lot, it, you know, it's this one being only two thousand dollars cheaper but that white one being five thousand dollars cheaper than this i do love the rubicon hood though but um, like i said for what i need i have to go with the rubicon but that willies right there is kind of the way to go this rubicon's got a plastic front on it too it does see that has plastic front end on it too that's weird because the gladiator my gladiator has has a uh has a steel one on the front i love that that my Rubik Gladiator Rubicon has a steel one. That's plastic on there. But man, look at the difference. I mean, I look at the difference in what this Willie's package is. God, what an amazing looking package. I mean, that is just, that is hard to beat. And all straight from the factory. No having to spend the money on parts later on to build it. No re-gearing it. No messing with anything. You got good quality tires on it too. You don't have to change them out to anything else afterwards. That is probably one of the best packages I've seen. And I'm sure that this package also includes the much better extended, more durable uh, carrier on the back here than what some of these are, okay? See, look at here with this 33 on here. See how you're maxed out on your carrier? Okay, that's it. Here's a 35, so this carrier here has gotta be, I'm assuming, yeah, see, it's completely, sorry, I'm looking here. See how this is different here? See, you got these little small bump stops, that set up. When you, when you right from the factory, you're getting a much beefier, stronger designed um, set up here for your spare tire carrier on there, much more, uh, much more robust to handle that 35 and this stuff is all coming from the factory you're not adding this stuff later on it's already there for you from the factory this willis pa willis package is incredible for 2024 that is just amazing and uh here's that other gladiator we're gonna go back over and look at that white one one more time get your price on that is this a 24 yep that's another 24 so like i said good to see these things starting to hit the dealer lots now uh looks like it's just mostly sports that they're getting here so far but gosh that willies man i'm telling you um that thing is incredible if i was buying an suv today i was looking for an suv even for just for even if it was just my wife and it wasn't going to be off-roaded too much it would be this hands down that would that would take the cake all day long over every SUV that's available out there today. And for me, if uh, if they're you know they're, there's they're not stopping making the Gladiator. If people are like, well, there's going to be last year for it. No, it's not. It's not at all. But if it was, this right here would be my next vehicle, hands down, right there. Um, I'd probably get it in a Rubicon with the Extreme package, so it looks just like this because I do need the front locker. But that is such an amazing. This thing just looks insane and incredible. Yeah, we were 56 on this one. So $5,000 less than, than what that uh, that Rubicon was. And uh, you got some pretty good upgrades right from the factory. Beautiful package. I want to see. We got one more over here with a winch on it. Oh, oh, oh this is a 392. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm drooling. This is a 392. This is amazing. This thing is incredible. It's got that, uh, that Hemi 392 in it. This thing is an absolute beast. What is the price on this thing? Plus, I'm sure there's insane markups. Look at that. $100,000. And like I said, I'm sure there's markups because this is a uh, limited edition this year. There, you know, there's not going to be many of them left. What an absolute beautiful rig that is right there. Wow, that is just, God, that is impressive. 
such an amazing machine with that like i said the power you would get out of this thing and the resale value and the reliability and the, you know the everything about it look at those cool seats i think it's just gorgeous now let's take a look at this see what this thing here is it's another willies right here here's a another gray willies right there like that too i love that package great from the factory with 35s and uh that is such a beautiful setup jeep nailed it this year they were in 2024 they straight up nailed it they just took it to the level that everybody's looking for love the wheels love the little fender extensions love the the gearing that's on it love everything about it they they straight up nailed it this is probably going to be the most popular jeep wrangler sold in 2024 is probably going to be this willies package it's got the like I said full size spare on the back upgraded mount already you can see all this extra stuff right here on there for that um like i said well done jeep very well done dealer's killing it over here too look at this we got the rebel trx what a beast of a truck this thing is i mean these things are insane that is one insane truck there is no doubt about it Let's see if we can find a window sticker on this guy nope no sticker on it look at that <laughs> what a beast what an absolute beast of a truck sweet setup i mean i think it's a monster you see him going on the road you see him immediately you know supercharged this thing is just like i said what a beast of a truck kind of a raptor eater as they call them all right we are rolling on out of here but uh like i said nice day uh, you got some really cool stuff here trx right there that willie's right there that willie's like i said that's amazing but i'm not gonna lie if i had an extra 100 grand laying around it would be that guy coming home with me in a heartbeat if i had a hundred thousand dollars to spend on a, on a vehicle right now that would be my top choice number one over everything that's out there. Again, even just from the resale value and all the stuff that comes along with it. But if I had $100,000 to buy a rig, it would be that one. Hands down, without question. Uh, sign me up and get it done immediately. But I, I don't have that kind of money. If I did, that would be it, though. But like I said, some really cool stuff starting to pop out here. And that Willys package is going to be a gold mine for Jeep. That is going to be a gold mine. I hope they offer the same thing they're doing here to the Gladiator this year. And uh, it'll be a, a big improvement for them, too. Like I said, what a beast of a truck right there. So, all right, we are going to jump in our Gladiator, and we are going to roll out and uh, talk to you guys soon.